hello to anybody who's gonna be watching this um, it's gonna be my first YouTube video to put up about my car which is a 1989 Honda Civic wagon um, I've had it for a little over a year now and uh, today I'm gonna be installing a new driver's side seat on it so yeah let's uh hop right into it here's my car uh still gotta do some paint job on her she did get vandalized a little while ago um if you're subscribed to young static which most likely you are uh you know all about that because i was on his channel talking about it and uh yeah so i had lazy man garage reach out to me and say hey you should go make a video and uh you know see see what you're gonna do and just mess around with your car so i figured rainy day don't have anything else to do it's a sunday so here we are um filming off my phone because that's all i got and yeah i can't promise how good this is gonna turn out but um uh yeah let's see what we get done here all right people i'm gonna start pulling out the uh front seat and we'll see what i can get done a new back piece to my driver's side which is pretty messed up right here can't really see it but right there there's a metal bar loop my finger around it it's uh i don't know it gets to be a pain every now and then so just figured i would uh take it out and get it replaced and so now i got the replacement say let's do it yeah so um let's uh get some tools off of here <clears throat> bam let's see here bam. Bam. Excellent. can i do it one-handed that is the question oh, there we go cut oh, on seat belt there we go freedom free at last free at last perfect the rain's starting up again All right, not too bad. One-handed, you know. <clears throat> Let's see. Where do I, I mean, I guess right here would be the best place to work on it. So hop right onto it. I've never removed the seats. It doesn't look too dirty. I mean, I do vacuum normally, so it's not too bad. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, well, uh, I guess I will record once I have the new seat on, and we'll get that going. Yeah, all right. Well, it hasn't been too long since I pulled the seat out. Um, I was thinking uh, when I saw this, I was like, well, this doesn't look like the one that I pulled out from the junkyard, which I will show you right over here. So this whole part was detachable hold on by two bolts right here right and um, I was like well why the hell does that look so different from this one I mean this one's got a spring that you kind of just bam and it just goes you know but then this one has a whole mechanism that's attached to the body frame of the chair and it kind of like goes with it and on top of that, uh, there aren't the two bolts. And this looks like it just leads up to the full front of the chair mount. So 
I guess the seats were built differently for each of the year's wagons. So, <laughs> doesn't surprise me because once again, these fucking wagons just keep throwing surprises at me. And the, the more I learn about them, the more interesting they, they are. So, um, looks like I'm just going to end up throwing this seat back on and I will show you guys how messed up it is because it's gotten even worse since the last time I've uncovered it so I mean I don't know what the hell to do I mean I guess I probably should have just took the entire seat pick and pull, but I was just thinking I could swap out the back. Ah, man, that's, that's a rough one. So I guess this is just going to go back in for right now. All right. So I uh, came back into my house. Uh, rain wasn't bothering me or anything. I mean, used to kind of getting wet, um, but just got a little frustrated after the seat that I picked from pick and pull wouldn't uh, swap on and over. <clears throat> so from the gash that you guys saw in my uh, actual seat, I was like, well, how can we try to fix that problem? How, how, how can I get that to, you know, be a little bit better than a gaping hole and just dusty old chair flying around everywhere. Well, <clears throat> I wouldn't say I'm the best upholstery person, but I mean, came up with this right here. Um, I, I like to sew and create things like jackets and stuff for, um, you know, just because I can. And it was something that my aunt showed me how to do when I was younger. <clears throat> so <clears throat> sewing has always been pretty easy for me um so I figured I got so much fabric laying around I might as well put some of it to use so um I filled in the the divot I mean it's actually a lot more padded um than the other side like it's going to be pretty nice. And then I'm figuring I could kind of just stretch the fabric up and around and just kind of give it a nice little stitch. And uh, we'll have that kind of sewn up and together for right now. And um, that will do uh, for that part. And then... Uh, I said, screw it, we'll probably end up just putting a shirt over it just to make make it all seamless. And uh, it's an older shirt that one of my friends got me. And uh, it says, keep it classic, you know? Because, hell, wagons are classic. I prefer classic games most of the time. So when I'm playing games, that's usually what I'm playing. Um, but yeah, so this is what I got done for right now. Um, I'm going to try to give it a quick stitch, uh, to the best of my ability to what I could do. And then, uh, I will show you guys what we got going on afterwards and then I'll reinstall it and see how it does. And I'll keep you guys updated. All right. Not going to lie. It came out pretty good. Pretty happy with it. The only thing that sucks is it's a thin material because it is a shirt. So it's probably gonna rip again. But um, I did reinforce right all up into here. I was able to sew it as far down as I could without uh, ripping the plastic, not the plastic, the fabric. Um, so it's got stitching from all the way up here to about right here. This is where it kind of starts splitting open 
And of course, because of the uh, cushioning that I added in right there, it, uh, it wouldn't close properly all the way, but hey, uh, not too bad. Just trying to keep it classic. Ah, fuck, I'm stupid. Um, yeah, but uh, so that's done. I'm gonna go put it back in the wagon now and we'll see how long it keeps up like this. <clears throat> Alright, deuces. Alright, just got done putting back the seat in. Uh, I think it looks pretty fucking good. I mean, freaking good. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, that's all I got to do for today. I guess I'm just gonna go pick up the wife from work now and uh, go get some lunch slash early dinner. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't really had much to eat for today. So, yeah, seat's back in. Gonna go give it a test drive, and I will definitely let you guys know how it's holding up. All right.